Today, I'm going to be doing something very dangerous, having opinions. Over the last one or two years, there have been a bunch of quote-unquote internet villains that have had preposterous amounts of hate. So, I thought it would be a fun idea if I do a little bit of tier list displaying whether or not the hate is valid. And as you'll see, I have five tiers. The top one is did nothing wrong, people who are basically not deserving of the hate at all. Bad but overhated, people who are bad but they don't deserve all the hate they're getting. Very unlikable, people that are generally just like, like have nothing redeemable about their personalities. Despicable, people who have very negative personalities and are harming the world. And pure evil as the last tier. So I picked 10 people, you'll see them on the screen, who I think are 10 of the most hated people on the internet. And I'm going to be ranking them based off of how warranted that hate is. So without further ado, let's just hop right into it. We're starting it off with Elon Musk. Now, Elon is a little bit of an interesting situation because the main reason he's hated is because he people say he's ruining Twitter, but I hate Twitter. So I don't even mind that he's ruining it. But my main uh, criticism of Elon Musk would be that a couple years ago, he used to be the guy who was like saving the world. He wanted to get people on Mars. He wanted to build a bunch of rockets. He wanted to make uh, electric power the main thing. And now he's just like the Twitter guy. He took over Twitter and he posts memes every day. So it's a little bit of a letdown compared to what he used to be. Um, so for that reason, I am going to put him in the very unlikable category. I, I, I don't know much about his personality, if I'm being honest. But just purely from what he used to be and what he is now, I think it's deserving to put him in the very unlikable. So next up, Kanye West. I, I'm, you know, having uh, some issues with despicable or pure evil because he's definitely going to be at the bottom of this list. Um, I want to put him in pure evil because of obviously the most recent things he said are very, very bad. However, he has not acted on any of them yet. So for that reason, I'm going to put him in the despicable category. Third up, this is a newly hated person, uh, Salt Bay. If you guys don't know, after the World Cup, Salt Bay had one of the most ferocious meat riding sessions of all time. And not literally. Basically, he's a celebrity, so obviously he was invited to the, uh, the World Cup. He's a very famous person, especially outside of America. So... Basically, after the game, he had the greatest clout chasing session of all time, trying to take pictures with the trophy, trying to take pictures with all the players when clearly they did not want him there, which is uh, just, just you know, an annoying thing to do. So I'm putting him in the very unlikable. Obviously, he didn't harm anybody. And also, I heard the steakhouse he owns, everything is incredibly overpriced, even though they're just cutting it in a certain way and sprinkling salt onto it. So that that's, I, I hate people who overprice things. That's horrible. Um, okay, now fourth up, Donald J. Trump, the Don, the 44th president of the United States. Now, I'm going to preface this by saying I am not making this political because Anybody who goes into office is going to have at least 40% of America hating them. So I'm going to base this purely off of his character. Um, me personally, and I, I may lose some subscribers, I'm just saying I think he's overhated. The things people say about him and the, who he actually is from what I've observed, they're a little bit of different. Every time I go on Twitter, he's like Nazi, Hitler part two, the, the worst man in the world. And then when I go to the things he say, he just kind of has a big ego and is, is a little goofy sometimes. Um, I'm not going to speak on his presidency. I don't know shit about politics. I'm just saying per, from a viewpoint of his personality and like who he is, he, I, I think he's overhated. So I'm, throw, I'm throwing the Don in the overhated category. Uh, some people may disagree. If you disagree, let me know. Don't just get mad at me. Let me know why, okay? Fifth up, Andrew Tate, Cobra Tate, the top G. Um, this is probably going to be my most controversial take on all of these people. I am putting the top G in the did nothing wrong button. I know, I know. I made a video a couple of months ago where basically I said he was crazy and a lot of his opinions were, but... Big Tate has been on a redemption arc in the last like two to three months. I know a lot of people stopped paying attention to what he was doing, but the podcast he's been on recently, the things he's been saying, basically he came out and said a lot of the stuff he said in the past was like exaggerating 
And overall, a lot of the messages he's been saying recently are good, which is basically he says he wants men to work hard, provide, make money, and be the best version of themselves, which you can't really disagree with that. He's spitting in that regard. Obviously, he has some controversial takes regarding women, but don't we all? So I'm putting him in the did nothing wrong. I understand that he had some allegations of trafficking certain things, but none of them were confirmed, and I'm not going to put him in. Obviously, he would be in despicable or pure evil if those allegations were confirmed true, but they have not been. So for now, he's in the did nothing wrong. Uh, sixth up, Amy Schumer, the lady to whom I owe my career off of. My watching Amy Schumer video until I laugh racked up 5 million views, got me a good 100,000 subscribers. So I do owe her part of my career. But on that note, she is one of the most unlikable people on the planet, probably. Um, just, 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 like her comedy goes beyond bad. She Somehow she steals jokes and then makes them worse. It, it is really an unbelievable thing. It's, it's a talent almost. But yeah, definitely very, very unlikable. But she hasn't done anything uh, like despicable or evil. So I guess I will give her that. Next up is Sneeko. Um, Sneeko, I would say of everyone on this list, I know the least about because his channel got deleted before I could really do any kind of research into who he was as a person. But from what I've seen, the clips I have seen so far, Sneeko is either Kanye West or Andrew Tate. The, and there is no in between. Like it, it's... Those are the two personalities he portrays in all the videos I've seen from him. So I'm not going to say he's pure evil or despicable because I haven't seen from him anything of that regard. But uh, I would say he's kind of annoying sometimes. But at the same time, I've also seen some clips that show me some good stuff. So uh, very unlikable, bad but overhated. Uh, yeah, I'll put him in bad but overhated. Just, just for now, if you guys want to inform me of bad things he's done or said in the comments, please do. I don't know everything, but for, from what my knowledge is of him right now, I'll put him in bad but overhated. Next up, the Cupcake Meister himself, EDP445. Now, I, I think you guys know my opinion on him at that point. If, if you want to, you can watch all the videos I made about him. I'm not going to go on, but pure evil. Cupcake chasing is probably one of the worst things you could do ever. Um... So, yeah, I, I think you, you can say controversial things as much as you want. You could say you hate people. You could say blah, 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 whatever. But nothing you can say will be as bad as what EDP tried to do. Um, so for that reason, I'm putting him in pure evil. Next up, that vegan teacher. Um, that vegan teacher, if you don't know, she's one of the less popular people on this list. She uh, basically made a career off of clout chasing veganism. Basically, every single person with a lot of fame, um, she called out for not being vegan. And she said, basically, everyone who isn't vegan and eats meat is evil. Um, and you, you guys know my opinion on judgmental vegans. I hate them with a burning passion, a burning fiery passion, as a matter of fact. Um, but she hasn't done anything overtly harmful that I know of. So I'm throwing her in the very unlikable and Nico Cato Avocado, uh, the, the Pillsbury Dough Man, the, the greatest downfall in human history, promotes obesity, ruining his own life for his, other people's entertainment, um, just unforgivingly annoying. Uh, I, I wish there was an in-between because I wouldn't call him as bad as Kanye, but I wouldn't call him as good as these people. But to make it fit, to make it a nice chody penis with balls, I am going to complete... It by putting him in the despicable category. And that's going to cap off my list. Uh, I am sure there is going to be mounds and mounds of people angry at me for my selections. But just know, at the end of the day, I truly don't care. My opinion is my own. And if you really think you're right, please change it. That's going to fill out our tier list. And uh, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you uh, at least took my opinions into consideration because I, as I, I want to reiterate, well, not reiterate, I want to state that my goal is never to change other people's opinions. It's simply to give them something to think about because I am not smart, but I do try to give things a, a decent chance when I, not a decent chance. I am not smart, but I do try to think things through when I talk about them and give the most reasonable opinions of all time. So with that being said, I'm going to leave this video here. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your rankings in the comments. With that being said, catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Uh.
orange peanut wants you to subscribe because he needs more 